Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how you can set up your nitrogen tank if you're in the HVAC business. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering what nitrogen regulators you guys can get, you know, and what type of hose to use and how to put it together. So in this particular case, you know, I picked up this uh, nitrogen filled tank, uh, cost me about $100 along with the nitrogen gas in there all topped off. So this is something I picked up, a uh, nitrogen regulator. This is something that you need and also a nitrogen hose. You know, this is basically um, any any R410A charging hose, you know, uh, 4,000 PSI. You're going to make sure you don't go more than 4,000 PSI on this. Uh, this is something I picked up from Amazon. Came with the kit. Uh, the kit came with basically this hose and this regulator. So let's see what's inside. So this thing goes on top, you know, this is something that we will be installing a little bit later. This cap, I think it broke off. Not sure where exactly this came off from, but anyways. So looks uh, pretty nice and sturdy. This is a uh, SWA, I don't know how to pronounce this, but looks like a, a good regulator okay so what I'm gonna be doing is installing this and uh, the way you basically do it is just put it on and you want to hand tighten this you don't want to start using any kind of uh, tool yet you know you want to make sure you just uh, start going clockwise and you don't want to use any kind of teflon tape or anything these uh, fittings don't require any of that so i'm just gonna hand tight it all the way now the other thing what you want to do is uh position your flow gauge um however you want it so i want it straight like this and what you need is uh just a regular wrench and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just tight it pretty good but you want to give it a nice tug you know so it does not leak any gas so I think now it's nice and tight uh, make sure everything else is nice and tight and then now we're going to take this front piece and go clockwise now you just want to go enough because you don't want to start tightening this because once you tighten this it deep press uh, mechanism inside which let the gas out from the bottom so this is where we're going to be connecting our hose so there's a casing right here for safety and uh, Now there are two ends, you know, there is, this is the curved end and this is a straight. So you want to make sure you put the straight one because this is uh, what goes on your air conditioning, you know, if you're uh, purging nitrogen through it. So same thing with this, there is no, nothing required, no Teflon tape or anything, you know, just to make sure you hand tight this and tight it pretty good. And of course, we're going to check for leaks later on. So, go as far as you can go with your hand. And uh, now we're going to turn it on and we're going to check our pressure. So, and I can already see it's. Once you're done with installation, you want to check for leaks. Just take a soapy solution and a spray on it. And uh, here I can see a bubble building up. So I think I'm going to tie this one a little bit more. So previously I was having a lot of leaking right from here. And what I noticed was that this thing was not tight enough. So I had to really put my camera down and tie it really good. So, um, you know, I think I still have a minor leak. So I'm going to give it one more tug. 
and uh, I think that should prevent that. Now, one thing you want to make sure is when you're tightening this, you want to make sure there's no pressure in here. So if you happen to open this and you have pressure built up right here, that's not good, you know, because you're not going to be able to tighten this if you have pressure coming in right here. So, you know, I closed mine and my pressure is still there. The way you release it is by turning this clockwise and the pressure should come out right from here. So once you start feeling that, Resistance is going a little bit, and there it is. All the pressure is out. Now you should be good to tighten this. Okay, so now my regulator is installed. You know, I had to really tighten this part to make sure there is no leak. You know, I turned this on, and I could see the pressure with no leaks. You know, of course, use a bubble detector to check for any leaks. So the next important thing that I'm about to show you that you really should get you know if you're in the HVAC business is uh, this flow indicator and uh, guys if you get this I can guarantee you that you're gonna save so much nitrogen um, because a lot of people don't have this and they think they get by with it but what they end up doing is trying to control your nitrogen flow which is only supposed to be 2 to 3 psi and uh, there is no way this thing can control and give you like you know 2 to 3 psi the only thing that can do it is this guy. So if you eyeball it and try to feel the pressure and you're running a lot of nitrogen and uh, guess what you're doing? You're emptying out your tank a lot faster than it's supposed to. And uh, what you end up paying in the long run is paying for nitrogen fill-ups. So this thing, you know, it's a one-time investment, but it will save you so much nitrogen gas initially that this tank will last you for a long time if you are using this device. If you're not using this device, it's going to empty out pretty fast. So make sure you guys get one of these. I picked up this turbo torch one uh, from Amazon. It was like 37 bucks or something like that, you know. So well worth the investment and it's a very nicely quality made. So let's see. So for you to use this device, you have to make sure you're installing it in the upper position. And the reason is because we have to mount this on here and this needs to be standing up like this. So if you mount it facing downwards, then this thing is going to be like this and it's not going to work. So if you notice, there's a, there's a ball in there. And what this does is basically tells you how much you are really flowing, you know. So with this installation, all you have to do is mount this on the front. Make sure you do it by hand. Take your time. Sometimes the new fittings is kind of tricky to install it the very first time. But once it goes in, just make sure you hand tie it. You hand tie it pretty good. Just make sure you don't leave any. I don't like using tools on these kind of devices. So this is the actual setup and if you can see the ball right here, they're only supposed to be flowing nitrogen right below that 5 level mark. So 2 to 3 PSI, 2 to 3 PSI and you'll see this ball barely floating when you're running the nitrogen and this is the only way to control this. You know, just open it up a little bit, uh, to open it just run it, open it anti-clockwise and that's it. And this is where you connect your hose. So guys, very very good device you know and you have to use this if you're in the nitrogen uh if you're in the hvac business so let me show you guys a closer look and another tip i'm going to give you is make sure you guys do your leak detection test you know um to fill up this cylinder costs about like 20 25 bucks depending on the area you're in but if you really check your leaks and tighter connections you know your nitrogen tank or any other tank i mean it'll last you a lot a lot longer so hopefully it helps you guys understand the nitrogen setup for your HVAC um, and uh, you know you can use this for other applications as well. So, so guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.